academic chapter 12 sleep came recurrently that night and i tossed and turned for a long time before finally going under and hard or so later i sat up in bed trying to relax and sort out the emotions coming to me lisa scared and upset unstable the night's events suddenly came rushing back to me as i went through what could be bothering her the queen humiliating her mia maybe even christian he could have found her or for all i know yet none of those was the problem right now buried within her there are something else something terribly wrong i climbed out of the bed dressed hastily and considered my options i had a third floor room now way too high to climb down from particularly since i had no scrap to patch me up this time i could never be able to sneak out of the main hall that only left going through the appropriate channels where do you think you're going one of the matrons who su- supervised my hall looked up from her chair she sat stationed at the end of the hall near the stairs going down during the day the stairwell had loosened su- supervision at night we might as well have been in jail i crossed my arms i need to see dim guardian below it's late it's an emergency she looked up me uh, up and down you seems okay to me You are going to be in so much trouble tomorrow when everyone finds out you stop me from reporting what I know. Tell me, it's private guardian stuff. I gave her a, as hard as had star as I could manage. It must have worked because she finally stood up and pulled me out of her cell phone. She called someone, Dremit, I hoped, but murmured too low for me to hear. We waited several minutes and then the door leading to the stairs opened. Dremit appeared. fully dressed and alert though i felt pretty sure we, we could have pulled him out of the bed he looked one last look at me lisa i nodded without another word he turned around and started back towards the stairs i followed we walked across the quad in silence towards the imposing morai dome it was night for the vampires which meant it was a daytime for the rest of the world mid afternoon sun shone with a cold golden light on us the human genes in me welcomed it and always sort of regretted how morai light sensitive forced just to live in the darkness most of the time lisa's hall matron gabbed gasped when we appeared but remit was too imitating to oppose she is in the bathroom i told them when the matron started at to follow me inside i could not let her she is too upset let me talk to her alone first remit considered yes give them a minute I pushed the door open. Liz, your soft sound like a soap came from within. I walked down five stairs and found where only one closed. I knocked softly. Let me in, I said, hoping I sounded calm and strong. I heard a sniff and a few moments later the door unlatched. I was not prepared for what I saw. Lisa stood before me, covered in blood. Horrified, I screamed a scream and almost called for help. looking more closely i saw that a lot of the blood was not actually coming from her it was seems on her like it had been on her hands and she had rubbed her face she sank into the floor and i followed kneeling before her are you okay i whispered what happened she only shook her head but i saw her face crumple as more tears spilled from her eyes i took her hands come on let's get you cleaned i stopped she was bleeding after all perfect illness crossed her wrists not near any crucial veins but enough to leave wet red tracks across her skin she had not hit her veins when she did this death had not been her goal she met my eyes i'm sorry i don't mean please don't let them know she sobbed when i saw it it i freaked out she knew that towards her have wrists this has just happened before i could stop i was upset It's okay I said automatically wondering what it was come on I heard a knock on the door rose just a second I called back it I took her to the sink and rinsed the blood off her wrist grabbing the first aid kit I hastily put some bandages on the cuts the bleeding has already slowed we are coming in the matron called I jerked off my hoodie sweatshirt and quickly handed it to Lisa she had just pulled it on when remit and the morton entered he raised to our sides in an instant and i realized that 
in hiding Lisa's wrists, I forgotten the blood on her face. It is not time, she said quickly, seeing his expression. It, it, it is a rabbit, Dremit assessed her, and I hoped he could not look at her wrists. When he seemed satisfied, she had no gaping wounds. He asked, what rabbit? I uh, wondering the same thing. With shaking hands, she pointed at the trash can. I cleaned it up so Natalie could not see. Dremit and I both walked over and peered into the can. I pulled myself away immediately, swallowing back my stomach's needs to throw up. I don't know how Lisa knew it was a rabbit. All I could see was a blood. Blood and blood-soaked paper towels. Globs of glore. I could not identify. The smell was horrible. Dremit shifted closer to Lisa, bending down until they were to eye level. Tell me what happened. He handed her several tissues. I came back about an hour ago, and it was there, right there, in the middle of the floor, torn apart. It was like it had exploded. She sniffed. I don't want Natalie to find it. I don't want to scare her. So I cleaned it up. Then I just could. No, I just could not go back. She began to cry, and her shoulders showed. I could figure out the rest, the part she don't tell Dremit. She found the rabbit cleaned up and freaked out. Then she could cut herself, but it was a weird way she cobbed with things that upset her. No one should be able to get into those rooms, exclaimed the matron. How is this happening? Do you know who did it? Dremit's voice was gentle. Lisa reached to into her pyjama pockets and pulled out a crumpled piece of paper. It had so much blood soaked into it. I could barely read it as he held it and smoothed it out. I know what you are. You won't survive being here. I will make sure of it. Leave now. It is the only way you might live through this. The mat on shock transformed into something more determined and she headed off the door. I am getting Ellen. It took me a second to remember that was Kiroa's first name. Tell her we will be at the clinic, said Rimet. When she left, he turned to Lisa. You should lie down. When she don't move, I linked my arms through hers. Come on, Liz, let's get out of here. Slowly, she put one foot in front of the other and let us lead her to the academic's medical clinic. It was normally staffed by a couple of doctors, but at this time of the night, only a nurse stayed on duty. She offered to wake one of the doctors, but Rimet declined. She just needs to rest. Lisa had no sooner stretched out a narrow bed than Kirova and a few others showed up and started questioning her. I touched myself in front of them, blocking her. Leave her alone. Cannot you see she does not want to talk about it? Let her get some sleep first. Miss Hathaway, declared Kirova, you are out of the line as usual. I don't even know what you are doing here. Dremit asked as if he could speak with her privately and lead her into the hall. I heard angry whispers from her, calm and flumes once from him. When they returned, she said stiffly, You may stay with her for a little while. We will have janitors do further cleaning and investigation into the bathroom and your room. Miss Dragmorai, and then discuss the situation in the detail in the morning. Don't wake Natalie, whispered Lisa. I don't want to scare her. I cleaned up everything in the room anyway. Kirova looked doubtful. The group retreated, but not before the nurse asked if Lisa wanted anything to eat or drink. She declined. Once we were alone, I lay down beside her and put an arm around her. I won't let them find out, I told her, sensing her worry about her bristles. But I wish you could told me before I left the reception. You could say you could always come to me first. I was not going to do it then, she said, her eyes starting blank off. I swear, I was not going to. I mean, I was upset, but I thought I thought I could handle it. I was trying so hard, really, Rose. I was, but then I got back to my room and I saw it. I, I just lost it. It was like the last straw, you know, and I know I had to clean it up. Had to clean it up before they saw, before they found out. But there was so much blood. And afterwards, after it was done, it was too much. And I felt like I was going to, I don't know, exploded. And it was just too much. I had to let it out, you know. I had to. I interrupted her hysteria. It's okay. I understand. 
that was a lie i don't get her cutting at all she could done it spotly even since the accident ever since the accident and it scared me each time she could try to explain it to me how she don't want to die she just needed to get it out somehow she felt so much emotionally she could say that a physical outlet physical pain was the only way to make the internal pain go away it was the only way she could control it why is this happening she cried into her pillow why i am a freak you are not a freak no one else has this happened to them no one else does magic like i can did you try to do the magic no answer list did you try to heal the rabbit i reached out just to see if i could make fix it but there was just too much of blood i could not the more she used it the worse it will get stop her rose lisa was right mora magic could conjure her fire or water and move rocks and other pieces of earth but no one could heal or bring animals back from the dead no one except miss crap stop her before they notice before they notice and take her away too get her out of her I hated carrying the secret mostly because I don't know what to do about it. I don't like feeling powerless. I needed to protect her from this and from herself and get at the same time I needed to protect her from them too. We should go, I said abruptly. We sh- we are going to leave. Rose, it's happening again and it is worse, worse than last time. You are afraid of the note. I'm not afraid of any note, but this place is not safe. I suddenly ignored for Portland a uh, longed for the Portland again it might be dirtier and more crowded than the rock de montana landscape but at least you know what to expect not like here here are the academic past and present ward with each other it might have its beautiful old walls and gardens but inside modern things were creeping in people don't know how to handle that It was just like the Morai themselves their hierarchical royal family still held the power on the surface but people were growing discontent dampiers who wanted more to their lives morai like christian who wanted to fight the strigoi the royal still clung to their tradition still tortured their power over everyone else just as the academics elaborate iron gates put on a show of tradition and invincibility and who the lies and secrets they ran through the halls and hide in the corners someone here hated lisa someone who was probably smiling right to her face and pretending to be her friend i could not let them destroy her you knew you need to get some sleep i told her i cannot sleep yes you can i am right here you won't be alone an anxiety and fear and the other troubled emotions crossed through her but in the end her body needs worn out after a while i saw her eyes close her breathing became even and the bond grew quiet i watched her sleep too keyed up with adrenal to allow my, myself any rest i think maybe an hour had passed when the nurse returned and told me i had to leave i could not go i said i promised her she could not be alone the nurse was tall even for moroy with kind brown eyes she won't be i will stay with her i reg- regarded her skeptically i promise back in my room i had my own crash the fear and excitement had worn me out too and for an instant i wished i could have a normal life and a normal best friend immediately i cast the thought out no one was normal not really and i could have never have a better friend than ligiza but man it was so hard sometimes i slept heavily until morning i went to my first class tentatively nervous the words about last night had gotten round as it turned out people were talking about last night but their attention was still focused on the queen and the reception they know nothing about the rabbit as hard as it was to believe i could nearly forget any about the other stuff still it suddenly seems like a small thing compared to someone causing a bloody explosion in lisa's room yet as the day went on i noticed something weird people stopped looking at lisa so much they started looking at me whatever i ignored them i hunted around and found lisa fishing up uh, with a feeder that funny feeling i always got over me as i watched her mouth work again is the feeder's neck drinking his blood a tickle of it ran down his throat and standing out against his pale skin feeders though humans were nearly as pale as moroi 
from all the blood loss he could not seem to notice he was long gone on the high for the bite drowning in jealousy i decided i needed therapy you okay i asked her later on our way to the class she wore long sleeves purposefully abusing her wrists yeah i still cannot stop thinking about that rabbit it was so horrible i kept seeing it in my head and then what it what i did she squeezed her eyes shut just for a moment and then opened them again people are talking about us i know ignore them i hate it she said angrily the surge of darkness shot up into her and through the bond it made me wrench my best friend was lighthearted and kind she don't have feelings like that i hate all gossips it is so stupid how can they all be so shallow ignore them i repeatedly smoothed said smoothingly you were smart not to hang out with them any more ignoring them grow harder and harder though the whole person looks increased in animal behavior it came so bad i could not even concentrate on my own now favorite subject miss mesmerize had started work talking about evolution and survival of the 50th and how animals sort mates with good genes it fascinated me but even she had a hard time staying on the task since she had to keep yelling at people to quiet down and pay attention something is going on i told lisa between classes i don't know what but they are all over something new something else other than the queen hating me what more could be that be wish i know things finally came to the head in our last class of the day scared at i started when a guy i barely know made a very explicit and nearly obsessive suggestion to me while we all worked on individual projects i replied in kind letting him know exactly what he could do with his request he only laughed come on rose i bleed for you loud giggles and shared and me a cut a stunning look wait it is rose who does the bleeding right more laughter understanding slapped in me in the face i jogged lisa away they know no what about us about how you 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 know how i fed you while we were gone she gasped how how do you think you are friend christian no she said adamantly he could not have who else know faith and christian flashed in her eyes and in our bond but she don't know what i know she don't know how i bitched him out last night how i could made him think she hated him the guy was unstable spreading our biggest secret well one of them could be an arcade revenge maybe he had killed a rabbit too after all it had died only a couple hours after i have told him off not waiting around to hear her protest i stalked off to the other side of the room where christian was poking by himself as usual lisa followed in my wake not caring if people saw us i leaned across the table towards him putting my face in just from his i'm going to kill you his eyes darted to lisa then faint faintest glimmer of longing in them and then a scowl spread on over his face why is it like guardian extra credit stop with the attitude i warned pitching my voice low you told you told how lisa had fed from me tell her said lisa despitefully tell her she is wrong christian dragged his eyes from me to her as they regarded each other i felt such a powerful wave of attraction it was a wonder it don't knock me over her heart was in his high it was obvious to me he felt the same way about her but she could not see it particularly since he was still glaring at her you can stop it you know he said you don't have to pretend anymore Lisa's good attention vanished, replaced by hurt and shock over her stone. I what pretended what? You know what? Just stop, stop with the act. Lisa stared at him, her eyes wide and wondered. She had no clue. I have gone off on him last night. She had no clue that he believed she hated him. Get over feeling sorry for yourself and tell us what is going on. I snapped at him. Did you or don't you tell them? he fixed me and with a different look no i don't i don't believe you i do said lisa i know it is impossible to believe a freak like me could keep his mouth shut especially since neither of you can but have better things to do than the spread stupid rumors you want someone to blame blame your golden boy over there i followed his gaze to where lisa was laughing just was laughing about something with that 
idiot rough just don't know said lisa definitely christian's eyes were glued to me he does though does not he rose he knows my stomach snack out of me yes just did know he figured it out that night in the long i don't think i don't think he could tell he was too afraid of dremit you told him exclaimed lisa no he guessed i was starting to feel sick he apparently did more than guess muttered christian i don't own him what is that supposed to mean ho oh, you don't know i swear to god christian i'm going to break your neck after class man you really are unstable he said it almost happily but his next words were more serious he still wore the sneer still glued with anger but when he spoke i could hear the faintest uneasiness in his voice he sort of elaborated on what was in your note got into a little more detail ho oh, i get it he said we had sex i don't need to minds words christians noted so just was trying to boost his own reputation okay that i could deal with not like my reputation was a stellar to begin with everyone already believed i had sex all the time and ho oh, raf too they that you and he raf no amount of alcohol or any illegal substance could make me touch him i what that i had sex with raf too christian noted that has all i'm going to that is more how did i sleep with the baseball team he said they both said you let them well you let them drink your blood <coughs> that stopped even me drinking blood during sex the dirtiest of the dirty sleazy beyond being easy or a slut again easing times worse a zillion times worse than lisa drinking from me for survival blood hotetary that is crazy lisa cried rose could never rose but i was not listening anymore i was in my own world a world that took me across the classroom to where jess and rof sat they both looked up faces half smug and half nervous if i had to guess not like unexpected since they were both lying through their teeth the entire class came to the stand still apparently they could see expecting some type of showdown my unstable reputation in action what the hell do you think you are doing i asked in a low dangerous voice just nervous looks turned into one of the terror he might have been taller than me but we both know who could win if i turned violent raf however gave me a cocky smile we don't do anything you don't want us to do he smiled turned cruel and don't even think about laying a hand on us you'll start a fight and kirova will kick you out of the live with the blood hose the rest of the students were holding their breaths waiting to see what we could do i don't know how mr nagi could have been obvious to the drama occurring in this class i wanted to punch both of them hit them so hard that i could make grimmets brawl which just looked like a pat on the back i wanted to wipe the smirk off brass face but i asshole or not He was right. If I touched them, Kirova could expel me in the blink of an eye. If I got kicked out, Lisa could be alone. Taking a deep breath, I made one of the hardest decisions of my life. I walked away. The rest of the day was miserable. In backing down from the fight, I opened myself up to the mockery from everyone else. The rumors and whispers grew louder. People shouted at me openly. People laughed. Lisa kept trying to talk to me to console me, but I ignored even her. I went through the rest of my classes like a zombie and then I headed off to the Prades with Dremit as fast as I could. He gave me a puzzled look but don't ask me any questions. Alone in my room later on I cried for the first time in years. Once I got that out of the my system I was about to put on my pajamas when I heard a knock at my door. Dremit he studied my face and then glanced away obviously aware I could be crying. I could tell too that the rumors had finally reached him. He you know, are you okay? It does not matter if I am, remember? I looked up to him. Is Lisa okay? This will be hard on her. Your funny look crossed his face. I think it astonished him that I could still be worried about her at a time like this. He beckoned me to follow and lead me out to the back stairwell. one that usually stayed locked with students but it was open tonight and he gestured me outside five minutes he want more curious than ever i stopped outside lisa stood there i should have sensed she was close but my own out of control feeling had obscured hers without a word she put an arms around me and held me for several moments i had 
to hold back more tears when we broke apart she looked at me with calm level eyes i'm sorry she said not your fault it will pass she clearly doubted that so did i it's my fault she said she did it to get back at me she nia just and rough or not smart enough to think to of something like that on their own you said it yourself just was too scared of dramat to talk much about what happened and why wait now i happened a while ago if he could wanted to spread stuff around he could have done it back then me as doing this as a realization for you talking about her parents i don't know how she managed it but she is the one who got them to say those things in my gut i realized lisa was right jess and rof were the tools mia had been mastermind nothing to be done now i signed rose forget it lis it's done okay she studied me quietly for a few seconds i have not seen you cry in a long time i was not crying your feeling of heartache and sympathy beat through me from the bond she cannot do this to you she argued i laughed bitterly half surprised at my own hopelessness she already did she said she could get back at me that i could not be able to protect you she did it when i go back to classes a sickening feeling settled in my stomach i thought about the friends and respect i could manage to eke out despite our low profile that could be gone you could not come back from the something like this not among the moray once a blood hood always a blood hood what made it worse was a, some dark secret part of me did like them being beaten by ten you should not have to keep protecting me she said i laughed that is my job i am going to be your guardian i know but i meant like this you should not suffer because of me you should not always have to look after me and get you always you you got me out of here you took care of everything when we were on our own ever since coming back you have always been the one who does all the work every time i break down like last night you are always there me i am a weak i am not like you i shook my head that does not matter it is what i do i don't mind yeah but look what happened i am the one she really has a grudge against yeah even though i still don't know why whatever it is going to stop i am going to protect you from now on there was a determination in her expression your wonderful confidence radiating off her that reminded me of the lisa i could know before the accident at the same time i could feel something else in her something dark a resonance of deeply buried anger i could see in this side of her before too and i don't like it i don't want her tapping into it i just wanted her to be safe lisa you cannot protect me i can she said fiercely that is one thing mia wants more than to destroy you and me she wants to be accepted she wants to hang out with the royals and feel like she is one of them i can take that away from her she smiled i can turn them against her how by telling them her eyes flashed my mind was moving too slowly tonight it took me a while to catch on lis no you cannot use compulsion not around here i might as well get some use of use out of those stupid powers the more she uses it the worse it will get stop her rose stop her before they notice before they notice and take her away too get her out of here lis if you get caught trimit struck his head out you have got to get inside rose before someone finds you i shot a panic look to adliza but she was already retreating i will take care of everything this time rose everything